Hi everyone, welcome to New York City. Harry Chickman with the president of the USTA and a great friend of mine, John Vagosian. So much excitement in 2012. John, 10 and under tennis, among other things, the US Open. What are some exciting topics in the USTA? Well, first of all, we're here at Tennis Night in America in the BNP Paribas Showdown. We've got Federer and Roddick and Sharapova and Wozniacki. You've got four uh, former number one players. It's a great way for us to kick off the tennis season, march into tennis. Uh, I think the most significant thing that we're up to is our Ten and Under Tennis initiative. A few years ago, we had what I guess I call a duh moment and said, we've got to kid size this sport. We've got to have shorter rackets, smaller courts, and balls that don't bounce over kids' head. heads. And that has been a very big success for us. We're going to really ramp up our marketing on that so that we increase the brand awareness about that. And I think it's going to long term have a tremendously positive impact for our sport, so we're very, very excited about that. We have Andy Roddick here, an American who we're all so proud of. Also, uh, Donald Young won on Court 17. He almost uh, christened that court, so to speak, which was huge. Uh, what do you think about Court 17 at the U.S. Open? It was a great new addition, but there are some improvements. Well, we did not have our full stands last year. We had part of the full stands. This year, we'll have it completely done. And I think it's um, a, a terrific destination venue at uh, the U.S. Open. It's an intimate court. You, there's not a bad seat there. In addition, it's helping us with our crowd control because a lot of what goes on at the Open is more toward Armstrong and Ash, and this spreads out the, the crowd a little bit. So we're very excited about it. There were some tremendous matches there, and we expect to have a lot more this year in 2012. And what a great result for the USA. John, Fe uh, excuse me, John Isner beating Roger Federer on clay. How big was that in Switzerland? That was tremendous. John played the match of his life. He played with confidence. He played with determination. He played smart. And I also have to give a lot of credit to Jim Courier, who I think did a tremendous job coaching him and getting John prepared for that match. And you can't, you, you can't ignore Marty Fish's effort there. He had a tough five-setter. He won that for us and then came out and won the doubles uh, with Mike Bryan. So our whole team was terrific, and it was wonderful to have uh, Ryan Harris in there as well. He won his first Davis Cup match. So it, it, we were not expected to win, certainly on clay, and our team did well, and hopefully they'll do as well in, in, in uh, Monte Carlo. That just shows that there are some young Americans who can become good. USA Tennis, don't count it out. Not, absolutely, and in fact, we've also had tremendous success at the juniors. Now, obviously, our goal is to get people in the top 100 and then the top 10, but you got to start somewhere, and we had a, a number of our juniors win uh, Grand Slam events last year, so I think we're on our way. Well, John, amazing to see you here, one of my great friends, and my hands always get sweaty when I talk to him because I'm with greatness, but Harry Chickman with John Vagosian, Tennis Night in America, the USTA on the rise in New York.